you know, Mars is the closest place that we can reach with robotic exploration that we think had a really good chance of having ancient life. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming missions to find alien life. The ESA's mission, JUICE, will provide the most comprehensive exploration of this giant planet and in particular of its moons. To peer into atmospheres of planets orbiting the stars. And you know that that hardware that you once just dreamed of and was once just an idea in your head is now physically a reality and it's actually going to another planet. I mean, that's pretty cool. For this list, we're looking at the most exciting upcoming missions that will search for signs of extraterrestrial life. We'll be including missions that have launched, but which are ongoing and have major milestones to come. Is alien life out there? Which missions are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Rocket Lab Photon. If you come to any Rocket Lab facility, you're going to see these words on the wall. We go to space to improve life on Earth. This has been a cornerstone of the company right since our beginning. Venus has long been neglected by space agencies ever since we learned that the planet has an extremely hostile surface. But attitudes have changed in recent years as the idea that Venus's atmosphere could harbor alien life picks up steam. A private American company, Rocket Lab, aims to send a laser-tunable mass spectrometer to study the Venusian cloud belt in 2023. The spectrometer will be launched aboard the company's Photon Satellite Bus. We're not just building a new satellite here or a new satellite bus. We're actually trying to fundamentally shift what it means to be able to do things in orbit and, and actually build businesses in orbit. So there's a lot to that. While Venus's surface is full of superheated carbon dioxide, the upper layer of the planet's atmosphere is surprisingly temperate and could be home to extraterrestrial microbes. NASA is planning its own mission to study Venus's atmosphere too, with Da Vinci Plus, planned to launch in 2029 or 2030. Three years will be spent exploring our celestial neighbor, Da Vinci Plus, coming soon to a planet near you. Number nine, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor. While NASA is still developing this proposal, it seems extremely promising and likely to be greenlit. The Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, or Louvoir, would be a space telescope so sensitive and powerful that it could study the atmosphere on Earth-sized exoplanets and detect any biosignatures. Previously, this has been impossible because such planets are just too far away. The Louvoir offers the chance to gaze at neighboring solar systems with unprecedented detail. While it has to receive final approval, it has a good chance of going ahead. It has a proposed launch date of 2039 though, so don't hold your breath. Number eight, Mars 2020. Launched in July 2020, the Perseverance rover and its robotic helicopter Ingenuity touched down on the Martian surface on February 18th, 2021. Touch down confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. This means that Perseverance has already sent back plenty of exciting data and lots of fun selfies. But what Perseverance is actually looking for is biosignatures inside Martian rocks, evidence of alien astrobiology on the red planet. In particular, to address the question of whether life ever existed on Mars. NASA also hopes to use Perseverance in a possible Mars sample return mission, although nothing has been green lit as yet. The rover is caching rock and soil samples on the Martian surface for possible pickup should such a mission be approved. Then we'll actually have Martian rocks on Earth to study at our leisure. Perseverance is a very, very profound first step in both our understanding of our place in the universe and a stepping stone towards human exploration on Mars. Number seven, Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. This telescope has had a troubled development and was almost canceled numerous times, but it's currently on track for a 2025 launch. Formerly known as WFIRST, the Roman Space Telescope is similar to Hubble, but with the benefit of 30 years of technological improvement. Each image from its wide field instrument will have the depth and clarity of Hubble's best. It was previously known as the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope and is another expensive telescope designed to pick up light beyond the visible threshold of the electromagnetic spectrum. Like other space telescopes, this one will be looking for exoplanets that might host alien life, but it's also going to be searching for the cause of cosmic expansion. 
Only time will tell whether NASA has built an instrument that will actually unravel the mysteries of dark energy in the expanding universe, but we can't wait to see what this telescope finds. The Roman Space Telescope will be an indispensable part of space science during the next decade and beyond. Number six, extremely large telescope. You might be wondering exactly how big a telescope has to be to literally get christened the extremely large telescope. The answer is, well, extremely. The ELT will be able to receive more light than every other 8 to 10 meter class telescope on Earth combined, making it an astonishing engineering feat. It's currently under construction in Chile and will be managed by the European Southern Observatory upon completion in 2025. The astronomers want to study two major topics. The first one is the age of the universe. And the second one is the exoplanets. We have been able to detect them with the current instruments but with the ELT, we will be able to look at them closer and to study them. Part of what's exciting about the ELT is that it's so sensitive, it'll be able to search for biosignatures in the atmospheres of rocky exoplanets. Once built, it's only a matter of time before we start learning the truth about the most intriguing exoplanets in the galaxy. Number five, Rosalind Franklin. A joint effort by the European Space Agency and Roscosmos, this rover will launch in 2022 and touch down on the Red Planet sometime in 2023. Like Perseverance, its mission is also to search for signs of past life on Mars. The goal of ExoMars is to find life on the surface, and more specifically under the surface of Mars. And that means that we absolutely cannot take anything organic with us. Formerly known as the ExoMars rover, it was renamed after the British scientist Rosalind Franklin, who conducted pioneering work on DNA. The English chemist helped discover the structure of DNA in the 1950s, but missed out on a share of the Nobel Prize that was awarded to her male colleagues. Like its namesake, the rover will be engaged in research on the building blocks of life. Given this research, it would be pretty fitting if Franklin went on to uncover evidence of alien life in rover form. The vehicle will be armed with an impressive scientific payload that will allow it to look for both morphological and chemical subsurface life signatures. This rover carries nine payload instruments uh, that will fulfill basically the main mission to discover uh, traces of life on the planet. For the landing site, scientists are eyeing a clay-bearing plane called Oxyaplanum, which was once rich in water. Oxyaplanum is, uh, is, is really one of the most interesting places to go, for, go with the lander to investigate, uh, in particular with the drill corps you can take up doing analysis of the surface material, subsurface material. Number four, Europa Clipper. Scheduled to blast off in October 2024, NASA's Europa Clipper will arrive at Jupiter's moon Europa in 2030 and perform 44 flybys. Scientists believe that Europa harbors a vast internal ocean heated by tidal flexing. Past NASA missions and Earthbound telescopes have found strong evidence suggesting there is an ocean of water beneath Europa's icy surface and plumes seemingly bursting through cracks into space. And where there's liquid water, there's the possibility of life. We might be actually looking at a body that is presently alive, presently active, and presently undergoing its geology. There is too much evidence right now lying around on the surface, the red stuff, that suggests that something's going on there. As it passes the moon, the Europa Clipper will investigate its habitability, studying the nature of the water locked beneath the ice and the composition of key compounds. Previous mission concepts were for a spacecraft that would orbit Europa. But Europa is bathed in radiation from Jupiter. Any mission that goes in the vicinity of Europa is cooked pretty quickly. Instead, we're looking at a mission that will orbit Jupiter, make close flybys of Europa, and then zip out of the high radiation region. It will also look out for a landing site for the proposed Europa lander, which, if approved, will launch in 2027 and search directly for signs of life. Number three, James Webb Space Telescope. It's been faced with delay after delay after delay, but one day, hopefully very soon, the James Webb Space Telescope will launch. This is the largest, most complex, and challenging space telescope ever constructed. It will change our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It's going to be one of the most impressive telescopes yet made, able to see infrared light. This means it will be able to physically see more than any other telescope. Webb carries advanced technologies to tackle some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. James Webb will be the true successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, able to produce incredible detailed images of the cosmos. Infrared objects that Hubble was incapable of seeing, as are the human eyes for that matter, will be this telescope's specialty. 
being able to see across the electromagnetic light spectrum means that it could be our best instrument yet for finding extraterrestrial life. The James Webb Space Telescope is your telescope. Use it to explore, to challenge theories, to see sights yet unseen. Number two, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE. The European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer will be one of the most ambitious space missions ever undertaken. If we find some oceans on Jupiter's moons, we'll be able to study if there are habitable environments that could harbor life. Set to launch in June 2022, the spacecraft will reach Jupiter in 2029 and conduct flybys of the Galilean moons Europa and Callisto before settling into orbit about Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. All three are thought to have subsurface oceans that could potentially harbor life. While passing Europa, JUICE will search for the presence of organic molecules, complementing the Europa Clippers mission with which it overlaps. JUICE will perform several flybys of three of Jupiter's four main moons in order to unlock the secrets of the potential habitability of an outer solar system. Over Ganymede, it will evaluate the moon's habitability, including its thin oxygen atmosphere and magnetic field. Ganymede has the magnetic field and it is the largest satellite. If it possesses also liquid water underneath its surface, it is the place to go to look for life conditions, habitable conditions in the solar system besides our own planet. Could it be crawling with life on the surface? We'll have to wait to find out. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dragonfly we won't see the launch of NASA's Dragonfly until 2027, and it will only reach its destination in 2036, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the most exciting space missions in history. Dragonfly is a rotorcraft designed to visit multiple sites across the moon's varied terrain. Saturn's moon Titan has long been established as the most Earth-like and potentially habitable body in the solar system, and the Dragonfly robotic rotorcraft is going to help us know whether we should ever send humans there. The Instruments on board will help us investigate organic chemistry and search for chemical signatures of past or even present life. The moon has a thick nitrogen-rich atmosphere, liquid hydrocarbon lakes and seas, and probably a subsurface ocean. Its only downside is that being a moon of Saturn, it's pretty cold. But if alien life is going to be anywhere, Titan is one of the likeliest locations. It's the science that really motivates us to do this exciting and difficult mission. Go Dragonfly! Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.